Good day everyone and welcome back to Jack the Lions 2. Now we are still reeling over the serious hit we took in the last fight, but that's the name of the game. Sometimes you lose your people, sometimes you lose your shoulder. We'll just have to live with it. No judgments of course if you prefer to load the game in a situation like this and try the battle again. It is a single player game after all. And I do like to think that people should be allowed to play single play player games any way they wish. I do think it's quite pretentious to try to think that there is a right and wrong way to play. That is always determined by the individual. So our goal now is to continue hunting down these various patrols around Drassen and ideally we'd also like to scout out a little bit a little bit of this region as we can if we have scouted out a sector we can always see enemy movements in it I think this group might be thinking about attacking this SAM site this group as well is suspicious Detrana likes to counter attack SAM site attacks with an elite small elite force this six-man patrol is approaching us rather ominously. Hmm. Let's take a quick look at our positions. We have a. Do we have a full stack of green militia? They should be able to take a group of six. How are our people doing? The injuries are healing rather nicely. However, it will take some time. Yeah, I think we can take care of the fight. We can let the militia handle most of the fighting. If it comes down to it, which it likely will. Another job taken care of. Very good. Now, since there's only four green militia left to train, I think what we can do is we can start Biff and Gumby to do a little bit of the scouting I was talking about. The helicopter is a very useful tool for that. Skyrider here. What's your plans for the bird? That's a big Roger, Cap. I'm here, Cap. All right. So how we do it is we put the. Uh, we have to put some characters in the helicopter. The helicopter alone can't do the scouting. So how we do it is we just move the helicopter. Skyrider here. What's your plans for the bird? To an unexplored sector. That's a big Roger, Cap. I'm here, Cap. Then in order to scout the sector, we'll just have these characters pop out of the helicopter and into a squad. And now the sector is forever explored. And we can always see enemy movements in it. So I want to explore at least a couple of sectors south. South of the SAM site so we can better predict Skyrider enemy here. movements. What's your plans for the bird? That's a big Roger, Cap. This does cost a little bit of money. But I'm I here, believe Cap. it's worth it. Also see if there are any buildings to check out in the these sectors. Now you can't do this scouting in a sector that has enemies in it. A Skyrider will Skyrider refuse to. Here. What's your plans for the bird? Refuse to drop your squad in an enemy infested sector. That's a big Roger, Cap. I'm here, Cap. Skyrider here. That's a big. I'm here, Cap. We may want to have our squad rest up a little. Or the fight. Well, maybe not. I think since it's such a small patrol, I'm not particularly concerned. Skyrider here. What's your plans for the bird? Skyrider, that's a big. R I'm here, Cap. Right, attack is imminent. This is guaranteed to be Sky a here. What's your plans for the bird? That's a big rock group of elites, which means they have a good chance of I'm here, Cap. Dropping some 
decent gear. Uh, let's see, is that enough scouting? We may as well go and check out these. Skyrider here. What's your plans for the bird? Tiles to the north of here That's as well. That's a big Roger, Cap. Burning a bit of cash to do this, but I'm here, Cap. Not too much. This is also a very time-efficient method of. Skyrider here. What's your plans for the bird? Scouting. That's oh, by the way, Roger, Cap. characters can sleep while they're inside a vehicle, like a helicopter, which also increases the efficiency. I'm here, Cap. Skyrider here. That's a big. I'm here, Cap. All right, that's a good bit of scouting done. Also, want to preferably scout it a little bit. Well, we want to scout these as well eventually. Hmm. There is only one patrol north of Crescent. We'll hunt that down just to make things a little safer over here. Skyrider here. What's your plans for the bird? Let's move Gumpy and Biff. That's a big Roger, Cap. Here as well. I'm here, Cap. Skyrider. That's a big Roger. Alright, and now we'll just wait for the imminent attack. Oops. Hmm. Wounds are healing nicely. I'm here, Cap. Wait a minute, where did they go? Huh? Where on earth did they just disappear into? Because they can't have... Huh. That's odd. I should be able to see them because I have militia here in this SAM site. I'm learning! Very strange. No matter. Almost rested up. Bronze and blood as well. You can get to work. Now sleeping, actually, what it does, it doubles the natural healing rate. So any wounded doctors, you want them to sleep as much as possible. But Bronze and MD being perfectly fine. We can I'm all them. done. Very good. Leadership going up fast as expected. Now, I'm not sure if I remembered to mention this, but if you have a single high priority sector like this where you want to train militia very fast. Now, despite the fact that you can only have two people training militia at the same time, you can do it in shifts where you have four people in there. While the, while the first two are training the militia, the other two are resting. And then when the first group gets tired, you'll just have them rest and swap over to the fully rested group. All right, we're All fully done healed. Here. Very good. Can get back to back to the hunting business. Parry mm, you also, and over that to get to Dimitri. Now, let's see, which one should we hunt down? Should we go and go after this group? It is a bit bigger. Bigger than the last one. So it makes me a bit concerned. Very concerned, in fact. Let's take a quick gear check. Actually, let's drop some of this stuff we're not planning on using. At least not at the moment. It was very cringy watching back the footage of the last episode, seeing all my stupid tactical tactical choices in action. When I mentioned the fact that always go for a flank when you can, uh, that is not exactly true. Uh, flanking is only beneficial if you can use it to negate cover. The enemies I was attempting to flank, 
they were not in any sort of cover, they were just out in the open. So I had no practical benefit of doing so. I'm just gonna scout out this square. Not where I need it to be. What's on the agenda? Where on earth did they disappear into? Maybe they just slipped out down south rather quickly. Now one thing to note about patrols around here is that patrols always originate from a town, which means any patrols around here could very well have been from Alma, which is a high-end military town. So patrols over here could be much stronger than what we expect. Now I am concerned about this group of 11. That may be a bit too much for us to handle. So we may instead want to hunt down the the Sky Rider here. What's your plans for the bird? That's a big roger. Let's use the helicopter to move around a bit quicker. I'm here, Cap. Without wasting energy. So we're fully fully rested. For the Sky Rider here. What's your plans for the bird? When it comes to big patrols like this, it's often more effective to let them crash into your militia instead That's of fighting the manual. Roger, Cap. Of course you do lose out on the I'm here, Cap. Lose out on the possible experience gain from the fight. Skyrider here. That's a big rock. I'm here, Cap. Skyrider here. That's a big I am taking I'm my here, sweet Cap. time around Drassen this playthrough. Now there is one thing to be concerned about Sky regarding Rider here. What's your plan? Shut up. Uh, regarding time. That is that if you start taking too long between offenses and attacks, eventually Enrico will start sending you emails expressing that he's concerned over your lack of progress. That's a big roger, Cap. The first ones are just a kind of optimistic. I'm here, Cap. Saying things like, yeah, I'm sure things are gonna get better. But eventually he'll start to lose faith in you. And what that leads to is that the rebels or the people of Arulco also start losing their faith in you and that can have pretty serious effects typically lost loyalty within towns now then the patrols seem to have disappeared into thin air so perhaps our best bet is to start continuing with the original plan and moving towards San Mona Hmm. Well, there was a scout Sky Rider here. What's your plans for the bird? That's a big rock. Scout out Looking a couple for more something tiles. to do. Good work. Very well then. What's our next next call for the B squad? Let's grab all the loot from here. I am still expecting an attack over here. Uh, it's possible that the elite counterattack squad disappeared in the thin air because they saw I had so many mercenaries over here decided that the attack would have been very very unlikely to work I haven't seen it happen before personally it's not completely unheard of in fact what we want to do is we'll want to hire hire Danny right now to make sure that we can we can grab him on the way on the way to San Mona let's do that Oh, speaking of the what I was talking about before, the time limits, or rather Enrico getting more concerned over your lack of progress, uh, that it's it works on a timer of sorts, that if you take a week, around a week, or something like five or six days without any sort of attacks, that's when he starts, starts getting concerned, but this timer is reset every time you attack a target. Uh, any sort of town or military squares like this they definitely reset the timer but I believe it also resets if you yourself attack a patrol out out here in a rule go if you're if a patrol attacks you and you're the defender then that doesn't reset it but I believe attacking patrols does I've seen it particularly in the end game there are tons of tons of like sort of scripted handmade patrols around Meduna so last time I spent my sweet time fighting them before taking any or before taking any sectors in Meduna and Enrico didn't wasn't particularly concerned now then we we'll want to 
want to drop Danny Drassen. Let's hope we have enough money to hire him for some some time. Good is not an assignment. Just fourteen grand for two weeks. Pretty stiff medical deposit. Would like his equipment as well. Hmm. I don't have I don't have a lot of spare armors around. Getting this Kevlar vest would be nice. Perhaps I could, in order to save a bit of liquidity, I could just hire him for one week, for now. Yes, Dr. Quinton here. What length of time did you have in mind for me? Just go with one week for now, just so that we're left with a little bit of cash in the bank. Although I don't have much to use this money on, perhaps we'll just... As you probably know, I specialize in medical treatment in the field. Yeah, fine. We'll go for the two weeks, save a couple grand. I'll be happy to accept the contract. Thank you. So he's arriving today at 90. Good. That's very fast. Alright then, so let's do a little bit of split, a little bit of more scouting. Gonna have to abort, Cap. Huh? Destination's got on friendlies. I'll wait for new orders. Yeah, that means we can't scout Car this one up. No matter. What's your plans for the bird? That's a big... I'm here to... Huh. Oh, actually. I'm running really low on cash, which actually means we'll have to stop helicoptering for the time being if... Oof, good thing I noticed that Skyrider gets Skyrider very... Skyrider here? What's your plans for the bird? Very irate. That's a big roger, Cap. If you don't pay him. Finished! Good. Alright, tell you what. B-team, you guys start walking back to dress and we've picked up everything from over here. Roger. I'm here, Cap. Oof. Yeah, our liquidity is getting quite low. Not then any sort of equipment management we'll need to do. Probably not, probably not. Yeah, we'll wait for the B-Squad to arrive. Take care of it then. Must sleep. Eyes close. Deal with it. I'm on location. Ready for the next scene. Right. Ow! <laughs> Present. <laughs> what, what, what on earth was that? I got my ear. In the wood. In the wood. Yes. And here's something we can do yes. actually, in order to make up for some of the lost dexterity yes. from last time. I we can you. attempt to throw some some of these knives at these crows around here. I hear you. I'm on it. We're very unlikely to get this dexterity back during this playthrough, but we can try to make the best of it. I hear you. Throwing knives at per crows also trains your marksmanship. That is assuming he hits anything. Huh, at these knives I was wasted. Good hit. Hmm, what's this? I hear you. Not a good one. I hear you. Something's lying there. Oh, good. The knives don't get. Got it. Hmm. <laughs> Something's lying there. Sorry, Peter. Got it. Got it. I hear you. Hmm. I do hear pecking somewhere around. There are more. Ah, here we are. I hear you. Perhaps we could just be more efficient and throw a grenade in the middle of them. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Something's lying there. I hear you. <laughs> Something's lying there. Didn't gain any points from that, unfortunately, it. but it always contributes. Contributes I'm on to. It. 
the next level. I still hear some pecking. Them oh they're I hey they're respawning. Let's see if we can get at least a single point. I hear ya. I don't typically like to do this sort of training methods like this. It wasn't the one I aimed for, but I'll take it. I hear ya. I hear ya. Hmm. <laughs> What's this? I Still hear no ya. points. Perhaps Got the it. I'm on it. game doesn't give you as many. Much experience for crows. Got it. I hear ya. I'm on it. This is some fascinating gameplay. I hear ya. I'm on it. Watch me hit this guy by accident. Hmm. What's this? All right, I think that's enough. Got it. I hear ya. I'm on it. Yes. I got my ear. I'm on it. Yes. I hear ya. Once you've used throwing knives, they revert to this bloody state, but I don't think it affects their effectiveness. I hear ya. It does have the problem that used knives and unused knives don't stack in your inventory. Very annoying. Now ah, then, what do we do next? Alright, Gasket, Dimitri. We have quite a bit of guns here that we should start fixing up. And in fact, perhaps I was planning on giving Danny the dual dual Colts, but perhaps a dual Desert Eagles would be better, or dual Paragudas. Well, I don't have a lot of those. Speed loader ammo, although they can be converted. Oops, I didn't mean to empty your personal weapon. Anything else we can fix? would ideally like to get as many of these items prepared as I can before we start heading out to San Mona, where we'll find an NPC who we can sell them to. Alright then, when you start train, practice your dexterity in order to attempt to recover it somewhat. Buns, blood, much you can do. Well, I suppose I may as well top up the militia. While I'm here, so Ira and MD. Oh, good. We don't have to pay for it. I think the game counts that I was already. I had already paid for it before, so I don't have to pay for it again. I'm very careless when it comes to spending money on militia. I do apologize for that. Compy and Biff. Not much you two can do. I think you two could practice. Not really. But I suppose you could train your strength. But nothing much you could do. Yeah. All right. Well, practice your marksmanship, or rather, train, practice your medical skills instead. All right. Let's just hang out, hang out a bit. I'm here, not looking to stand around all day. All right. Welcome aboard. Now let's give you some equipment. Mm. Let's see, perhaps I'll go for the go for the forty fives. Instead of the desert eagles, I do have a mu bit more armor piercing ammo available for it. But the silence gun we should hand out to and this out the blood. Something I forgot to do previously. This inventory is getting a bit loaded already, but no matter. 
top up our medical kits once again this episode is gonna be I'll be loaded with this inventory management rewatching the previous episode it was it was boring as all hell I maybe need to figure out some way to do it in between episodes in a way that will not affect the gameplay as much now oh, where did I put that put that ammo I think some people are carrying it around a bit needlessly there it is one knife around that is useful for the terrorist hunting side quest we received will have to cut off their heads which is kind of brutal but oh well actually spare canteen had that over to Danny also a first aid kit Only seven rounds per clip, which is not not as much ammo as I'd like, but we'll have to deal with it. Perhaps I should actually keep take uh, some of this 762 ammo with me as well, just in case I find some weapons like an SKS that uses it. it would be quite nice. Now then, what else? What else? Where did I put that? Another box of 556, five, here we go. Also want to keep this around as well. It's the most common rifle ammo in the game, but this early on we'll want to hold on to it as much as we can. Anything else? Got healing. Oh, another lump of TNT we'll definitely need. So I need to figure out a way to do this a bit more efficiently so that it's not doesn't take us long doing doing these episodes. Hmm, what else? What else? Yeah, I think we're finally starting to starting to look okay. Suppose we should carry grab those mines with us. Have Danny carry them, because he's got the most inventory space despite Barriers are explosives, guys, so he'll be the one using them, actually. Very well, then. Now, what else? What else? I think we're just about ready to move out. Yeah, that's looking good. All right, let's hop aboard the helicopter. The helicopter only seats a maximum of six people at once. So we want to head to Omerta and then start walking towards San Mona from there. We are very likely to... Skyrider here. What's your plans for the bird? That's a big roger, Cap. Oh, I likely forgot something, didn't I? Perhaps I could al also already pick up some of these weapons for selling. But... Nah, I think it's best we fix them up. Make sure we get as much money out of it as we can. I'm here, Cap. Oh, should have made him rest. Skyrot, that's a big Roger cap. Have them nap for a little while. Oh, right. Uh, I actually got the order from Bobby Ray's, didn't I? Okay. Should have a quite a nice amount of extra toolkits, huh? Wow. Very good. Got it. Okay. Biff being as excitable as always. Okay. Very good. We're not going to be running out of these things for a while. Right at the end. So we're at half an hour already. And once again, 
I have provided you with very little action whatsoever. But let's just start heading over towards Santa Mona. I'm here, Cap. Enemy exists in region. Speaking of action, well, we have a group of eight uh, fighting them at night, which concerns me a little bit. But no matter. Alright, so this is a road sector. The enemies typically like to hang out on the roads in sectors like this, but of course there are exceptions to this as well. We'll just have our whole squad group yes. up. First, we'll try to get as many stealthy kills as we can, seeing yes. how it's dark. Yes. Right, now the problem is that we don't really have any idea where they yes. are. Right. Yes. Our sneaky squad, yes. sneaky duo, take point yes. at first. Okay. Yes, I'm right. I did bring medkits along, didn't I? Good, everyone's got a medkit. Yes. yes, I'm on it. I'm Actually, right. let's stick to these woods. I'm on yes. it. Okay. Okay. Yes. Well, what do we have here? Throwing knife probably is not gonna be a free kill. Uh. Nope. It's worth a shot anyway. Uh. Take another one if you yes. would. believe that was silent. No, it was not fortunate. Yes, yes. And it's back yes. up. Yes. You can tell when a kill is silent. Okay. If the when you end turn, it instantly goes back to you and the enemy's turn bar doesn't move at all. That means they're yes. unaware of you. We didn't do yes, a clean sweep. Ya. Still got Ready. a couple of scars okay. bars hanging around. Yes. I hear you. Okay. That was a free Go kill regardless, and it was a quiet one. Enemies are yes. still going to be yes. completely unaware of us. Let's take a quick look at the map. There's quite a bit of wide open space here. Perhaps I should avoid that. Yes, Stick on. to this woods okay. for now. Hmm. Yes. What's this? Oh, Sounds very like good. Moving. Yes, time for the enemy to say its prayers. Lucky. Oh, oh. Yes. Oof. Yes. Don't miss. You missed. Fucking hell. Hey, Fuck. In sight. Yes. Yes. That sounded like an SKS, so we'll have to move. Nighty night. Have to move. Okay. The Mini-14 is a nice yes. early game rifle, our first example of a proper I'm on proper it. gun. Alright, let's Ready. move out a bit. Oh, I wish I had a night up specialist, I could really yes. get, a, get an advantage here. Yes. Now, as the game starts progressing, it becomes increasingly yes. important to not bunch yes. up your mercenaries. Yes. Stay together, but not shoulder to shoulder, if you know what I mean. That leaves you increasingly vulnerable to grenades, yes. and in the late game, I hear ya. even worse things like mortar shells and rocket launchers. Yes. I think we have to move a bit quickly. Yes. But you want to pack up a lot more. Get yourself patched up. Yes. Ready. Yes. Yes. See that shot came from over here. Yes. Huh. It's not turning back into Yes. Oh. Fucking night vision. Night vision goggles. Yes, I yes. Surprise myself sometimes. Yes. He's terrible. Oh, oh. Nice. 
That was Groovy. clean. Ah, Ready. there is hope for me yet. Yes. Good. Very good work. But now they know where, definitely know where we are. Barry is left without any action points. Our risk of us getting yes. shot. Ready. As, as always. Yes. Yes. What was yes. that? Yes. Southeast. That's from over here. Let's back up Barry for sure. Just hoping that uh, Buns and Danny will get the interrupt. Well, Danny is unlikely to get it. The enemy saw exactly where he was. Let's back move him. Move him a bit. Yes. But you got yourself patched up. We need your grenading skills over here, so move up a bit. I definitely yes. heard something. Keep in yes. mind, we didn't get them Good. all. I definitely heard something. Oh, Ready. We have been joined. Finally, the enemies didn't get the initiative. Let's see. Move over here. Good. Let's get you some shots. Nice. Good hits. Yes. I think uh, I'm pretty sure that when a character hits with two guns, they'll yes. get double the marksmanship training. Not a hundred percent sure on that. Go to sleep, creep. Indeed, let's once again let's reposition ourselves. Yes. Back up a bit. Ready. Hmm, anywhere where we can move. Not like this. Not like this. Ah. Yes. Light blood and Yes. So that's that's four kills. There's another four left. Yes. Don't yes. Hear any sounds. Ready. Okay. What we want to do is back up a yes. lot. Properly yes. patch ourselves up. Yes. Well, patch up Danny. That is. Yes. We didn't Ready. do a clean sweep. Still got a couple of scuzz balls hanging around. What is a scuzz ball? Let's move out. Now, if the rest of them are likely camping out here, and all of their guns are most certainly gonna be pointed towards this direction. Roger. So what we want to do is loop around another way. Yes. Yes. In fact, let's take a look at what sort of environment we got. Mm, they may very well also be hanging out over here. So sneaking around from down here could be a good good idea. Now stealth does not lose its effectiveness even after the enemy is aware of your existence. I have to do a bit of doctoring after this fight as well, but that'll be that'll take no time at all with a guy like Danny and Buns and Blood. Both being on our team. Gotta respect doctors and medical skills in general in this game. I believe I already talked about it, but there is no diminishing returns at all. Even if you have a full squad of medical experts. Yes. The more doctors you have, the better. Yes! You are gonna get hit eventually. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Who's got the? Wait a minute. Did I not take the? Oh, I did. There it is. Yes. Just keep moving. Actually, sneaking around crouched like this saps your character's energy a little bit. What we'll want to do is, ah, Ready. the wounded character's almost yes. taking right. point. Want to sit back Ready. for a minute. Okay. Oh, come on. Yes. Yes. Bit, bit punched up. Yes. Let's just catch your breath for a moment. 
in a panicky situation you can use a canteen to risk restore your energy yes. Yes. still have four enemies around so we can take it too oh, easy yes. I suspect this forest is going to be a hangout for them. What scares me is that if even one of them has night, yes. like night ops or a night vision yes, goggles, they will always get the yes. initiative in dark like this. Understand. So yes. Maybe in a part of the game where right, fighting yes. at night is not yes. the most okay. beneficial. Yes, I'm on it. Yes, all right then. Hmm. No one around. We have explored most of the map already. Yes, understand. Okay. Yo, Ooh, I, love I heard Rigged. something. Time for the enemy to say its prayers. Let's make sure we're. That was glorious. Super. I'm not your average mercenary. You aren't. You aren't. Back up a bit. Yes. Power you move behind this tree. Yes. Bombs you move behind this one. Blood, yes. you stay back, but be ready to lob some. Ready. Some grenades when the time is right. Yes. Yes. Oops, that's not exactly what I meant to do. Yes. I know I won't allow myself to be convinced and left the area. Yo, I heard something. Very Time nice. for the enemy to say its prayers. <sighs> Auto weapons experts for the win. Yes. Specialist, I mean. Yes. Right. They are doing exactly what I want them to do. Yes. Oh, Jesus, he still survived. Yes. But he, we hit him enough times that his energy and action points were likely sapped very low. Nighty -night. Let's see, Ready. Danny, can you get the finishing blow? You really need the right. marksmanship training. And that's the last one. Yes. <laughs> He's doing some squats. Ready. Let's see how much you need. need nine points. Get even the most basic shot. Ah, well, that's not about to happen, but... Oh, never mind. Never mind. That is some good yes. marksmanship training as well. All right, let's just finish him. This was a clean fight. They're Love all it. Cooked. I'm on it. And we got lying some... There. Hmm. What's this? We got a weapon upgrade as well. Let's check Something's out this other there. I'm better on. armor. Now the mini 14. Got it. This is a quite a solid early game weapon. This is like a semi-automatic rifle with quite a nice damage and a decent range. Certainly better than the submachine guns and pistols, whatever that we currently have. The 25 is kind of low overall. Most of the later game rifles will beat that by a high margin, but this early on, this kind of stats, this is. An definite upgrade and I am glad I fought this battle finally I think her luck is starting to turn a little bit huh actually running a bit low on the ammo for this 9 mil. May I may have been a bit reckless with how I've been spraying it around and I should have grabbed some of these spare mags but we're pretty likely to find some on the way so, no worries there. Let's see. Who has earned the glorious Mini 14? Now, once again, like I mentioned before, you'll want to give the... Typically, you'll want to give the most accurate weapons to the people who need the most marksmanship training. So, perhaps, thinking that, we may want to have... Danny used this rifle. Everyone else got some decent weapons as well, well except for blood. 
was going to short range weapon. Sand another backup clip to Danny. You can use that to really boost this marksmanship. Early on. Oh, we got some more ammo for it, by the way. Nice, nice. Anything else we should do? We'll have to do a bit of doctoring. And what condition is this rifle? It's 77, which isn't terrible. Barry, you start fixing items while everybody else you start fixing people. Won't, this won't take long at all. Alright, that seems like a very effective end for this episode. Finally one that doesn't stretch to nearly an hour. But in the next episode we'll continue our journey towards San Mona. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.